Amen. Good evening, everybody. Hello, good evening, everybody. Good evening, everybody. Please, if you can hear the sound of my voice, you're downstairs, you're upstairs, please. You're inside the nursing mother room, please, let's get seated. We have started. We have started. Please, can you look up to your neighbor, look the neighbor by your side, by your right, by your left, and tell your neighbor you are in for a great thing this evening. No, no, we are not talking. Is there anybody who is not happy to be here? Oh, I came here loaded. Amen. We are not here for a concert like the word no concert to be. Where somebody is Decide the center of attraction. No, not at all. We're here where everyone who will be ministering here is pointing us to Yeshua. The one who has answers to all of our problems. The one who has the solutions and the way to all of our decisions. And as every song is being raised and Yahweh is being attended to and reverence. If you can not just join them sing, but glide on the lyrics of every line on the song they will take, it will pay you and pay me a whole lot. Then you will be lost in the song because the songwriter says it's not in the song in itself that he requires, but a heart, a heart. A heart. Can we please be up on our feet this evening? It's not because you are jobless or you don't have anything to do. Saturdays are very busy. Even when they are public, they are, they are holidays. But you have set them aside to come meet the God, the one who made heavens and who made the earth. The one who is in charge, who gave the breath that you are breathing in every single day. The one who taps you up every morning and says, my son, my daughter, wake up, it's a new day. The one that holds the sun, scripture says, light up, comes from, from his throne. An unapproachable light emits from his throne. The one whose thunder exists in his throne. That's the one you have come to meet. So you have not just come to meet a set of persons who are, who are going to be raising song. No, every song is going to create a cloud, an atmosphere that will get thicker and denser. To the point that everything and everything you came through this door with will melt off like wax. Eyes we see, ears we hear, hearts we perceive. Anuses that came with you from birth will drop off like scales. Those online and those who are not online that can hear my voice from the speakers, they will be attended to and they will begin to join us. The host of angels are here with us. It's not an ordinary meeting. But I don't want you to be like Jacob that says, how come I knew not that this was the gate of God? It will not be your case. That's why I'm admonishing us this evening. Shut yourself away from every distraction. Shut yourself away from whatever news you have heard within the course of the day. Shut yourself away from whatever it is. And just feast your gaze on the maker. Picture him on the throne. Can we begin to do that? Picture him on the throne. Picture Jesus on the throne, seated in majesty. And the 24 elders say, holy, holy, holy is the Lord. Picture him on the throne. Can we all shut our eyes? Shut our eyes. Close your eyes. Picture him. Put in your mind that Jesus is seated on the throne and the 24 elders constantly bow and say, holy, 
holy, holy is the Lord. All eyes shut. Take your minds away from whatever it is that has happened before this moment. It is for this singular act that you have come. And let this image be painted in your heart. Close your eyes, just like you can close your eyes and you can imagine how your bed is laid. And where your shoe racks are, where your wardrobes are. That's how you can also paint that image of Jesus seated. Oh, Jesus. And the 24 elders, they bow. And holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. It is in doing that, then he comes majestic. Oh, Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Sweet Holy Spirit, we thank you. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. He said, no man can come to the Father except you be you. Lord, we thank you. We thank you. Because we will worship you by the Spirit, not by the flesh. And you will indulge. Is it he that inhabit the praises of his people? We are here this evening, not for ourselves. Not to showcase our outfit or our voices, but to raise a sound. A sound in unison with the sound that heaven is raising but now. And then indeed, oh Jesus. Baris ke papranda. Elisa babande kronge beta siske prande bende lisko brende bende liska. Barade se supra parate se suske prapana. Picture Jesus on the throne. Picture him. Picture him. Set aside all your difficulties. Set aside all your challenges. Set them aside. Set them aside. They are not relevant now. They are no longer relevant. Because when you can ascend, then those problems will fall off. And scripture says, and there is a documentary that makes us not scriptures. A documentary that made us known that the, the hawk likes to peck on the ego. And all the ego will do is just glide and continue to, to glide higher and higher. And higher, then it gets to the point where the hawk could no longer breathe. The hawk will fall off his back. The ego don't need to drag. Can you take those things to a level and to a realm where they can no longer stay? They will fall off. And the way we are saying this is to set them aside and put our gaze on the maker. Let every song, let every sound, let every word, either in spoken word or in preaching or in songs, let there be one that you are sent through and put meaning to. This is not the time to begin to think what you will eat in the evening. It will take care of itself. This is not the time to begin to think of whatever it is. This is the time to think of Jesus. Think of him. Think of him as the way maker. Think of him who parted the sea by the breath of your nostrils. His nostrils. Think of him that says, I have created Pharaoh for my glorification. And he made a mess out of him. And every nation that heard of what he did with Egypt gave Israel space. That matter that you are currently going through, he wants to make a mess and make that matter become the very reason why you will be elevated. So can you set them aside? Set them aside and let your gaze be on Jesus. Paint a picture of Jesus in your heart and begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Keep that picture, that mental picture in your heart. Keep it there and begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Barite kapapana, sido brande bembe tishka prinko pepe lata. Brande sis kopra deina, benande sis kopa prinde legatonde sis kaparades. Everyone lifted up, all your hands lifted up to Yeshua. Eliko plan the seas caprinde le dus ke palata. Mande si zupra parico pengra. Inane si so prande shendos ke pamprindes. Ekron paris ke papana. Alezi so prande lengo papile. Isu sa prande le gadisco pranga penga. Elias so so pre papana. Oh Jesus, we have come to meet the one who has peppers to organs and to tissues. Who did we do surgeries without having to cut? My God, that's the God we've come to meet. Surgeries will be done and there will be no cut. Not a single cut. Because you will step out and the report of the doctors will be a meltdown. It will be a nonsense because the same doctor that did it before we asked, What did you do? 
I've seen kidney stone come out of kidneys and all was left in the scan was a line. Baris I've seen a woman without a womb give birth, but the same God can give a woman a womb, but yet he gave the woman a child without a womb. And every doctor who was in the who was in the delivery room that day ran away. Only one doctor stayed. He said, I don't know why I received the child. I just began. The only thing I knew was that I was praying the Holy Ghost. I saw this, this, this baby in a sack balloon floating in the mother's belly. No connection. That's the God you have come to meet. That's the God you have come to meet. It's the God that finds the expression in the impossibilities. When man says there's no way here, that's where he comes from. Bebeba, Malisco Pepale, Esi Sopran de Sheta. Manina tesis, brande copa, elisu se palata, brande si zupa, mante capre disco pena, elisu zi prada. This is not the time to make expectation for what men can give to you. Ale Caesar, ask for what men can give to you. Ask for what men can give to you. Create an expectation that beats that when he is here, they will say, How? How? Elia to pena, mande si se te franca. For when the Lord turned again the captivity of GP side, they were like men that dream dreams. And those who knew them before, before Toxa, began to ask. Those who knew them before this time began to ask, How is this? Indeed, your God is a cheat. you have not come to meet any man. You have come to meet the one that made heavens and the earth. The one that existed before the foundations of the earth. Aye. And so, Father, we give you thanks. We thank you because we have come to Mount Zion. The city of our God. We thank you because we are standing right in the holy place. And like never before, mountains melt like wax. And eyes pop open, ears hear and heart perceives in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. No man come and live the same way. And even those that didn't plan to come, when they are visited wherever, as much as they can hear the sound of our voice, they will begin to locate themselves here in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, faithful Father. Our online viewers are not far. They are not left behind. As much as you can hear the sound, Jesus, you will be met. For there is no distance in the realm of the Spirit. Thank you, King of glory. We give you praise. Amen. In Jesus' most precious name. We are prayed. Amen. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Celebrate the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Hallelujah. He's worthy of our praise. He's your changing changer, the miracle walker, the way maker, the promise keeper, hallelujah. covenant keeping God. We worship you. We praise you. You reign forevermore. We bless you, Jesus. Just worship him. He's the king of kings. He's the lord of lords. The glory is here.
happening. Oh, Makaya la 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 la. Libranda la la santaya la. Libranda la la santaya. Ah, is he in our midst, oh God? He's showing himself strong. My Hallelujah. Good evening, everybody. Can you help me make welcome the person by your side? Just celebrate your brother and your sister. It's about to happen in the city of Benin. Heaven is about to invade the earth again. It is Dogs 610. Pow! 
God by the amazing new praise the theme of dogs of 2024 is ascend and it promises to be an unprecedented time of intense praise and worship in the presence of the Almighty God with whom nothing shall be impossible dogs of 2024 it's your time to ascend To. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! So this is Doxa. Hallelujah! And we're so excited to be gathered again in corporate worship as we have longed to do. Some years ago, about 10 years ago, the desire to have an extended worship time started as a program called Worship in the House. And when we gather, we spend time to worship together. Corporate worship that stirs up all kinds of encounters and impactation in the midst of God's people. But as we continued further in that experience, it got to a point that the experiences we're having were so intense that we, we, we just felt within us that it was time for it to be more. The burden to push it further began to grow within us. And it was at that point that worship in the house transited into what we have today called Dogza. And today, we are having the sixth edition of Dogza. Dogza is a time of corporate worship. A time when we come together with our faith joined together and saying that indeed, our God is good. And we bow down to worship him. Hallelujah. 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 Since the transition from worship in the, worship in the house hmm, to Dogza, we have had Dogza 1, we've had Dogza 2, we've had Dogza 3, we had Dogza, we had Dogza 5, Dogza 4 was at Uniben, University of Benin. Then we had Dogza 5, then today is Dogza 6. God is amazing. We didn't have this big, big picture at the start, but it just led us by himself and it took, got us to a point that today we're at Dogza 6.0. That's Dogza 1 flyer you are seeing out there. That was Dogza 1. Can we see Dogza 2? Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, make some noise. Dogs are two, dogs are two. Can we see it very quickly? Hallelujah. Hey, Masa, brother, Garebo, Sontaya. I'm so excited because the mighty man is in the house. The Lord is here tonight and he's here to do great things in our midst. There will be encounters here tonight. Hallelujah, are you ready? One thing that I know tonight is that you must be intentional about what you do in this room. Amen. You will be distracted if you allow yourself to be distracted. I'm made of my mind that I'm not living here the same. That dogs are 6.0 will be a reference point in my life many years to come. And I want to enjoin you to take the same position. That as we gather tonight, that indeed it's going to be a date with destiny for as many that are intentional to make it so. Hallelujah. It's going to be a defining moment. Very clearly, as we began to pray for Doxa, God said to us that men are going to recover themselves. As many that need to recover themselves, they will recover themselves. And God also said to us that what he has not done in a long while is going to be making to happen in Doxa. But when you are not, your posture does not match what he wants to do. What happens? What happens? It just passes and you will not even be aware it has passed. So you must be intentional and be deliberate to connect with what God is going to be doing here today. Amen. Amen. When it's time to sing, what do you do? You know, there are different expressions of worship. When it's time to sing, what do we do? When it's time to clap, when it's time to dance, when it's time to shout, you must tell yourself that your body, your spirit, your soul will respond to what is going on in this all tonight. And we trust God that at the end of today, that the impact we are going to have is going to be lifelong. Amen. I see men being prepared for their next level. The version of you that God needs for your next level, you're not there yet. We trust God that by the encounters you will have tonight, that you will have that preparation that you need. Hallelujah. Help me celebrate Jesus one more time. It's Dogs of 24. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. 
Come and let's begin to bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Our God is worthy. He's worthy to be praised. Let's begin to bless his holy name. Let's bless his holy name. Our God is worthy. He is worthy to be praised. Ancient of days, we bless you. King of glory, we worship you. Ancient one, we give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. We give you all the adoration. Be thou exalted, O King. Be thou exalted, O Father. We have come to worship you. It is more of you and less of us. It is more of you and less of us. It is more of you, O King, and less of us. In the name of Jesus, Abrandos Kennedy Brevandi Anandi, Erre de Menede Brangon de Leski Brandi Anando. Lord, come and take your place. Come and take your place. We welcome you. We welcome you, O sweet spirit. Lord, if I find favor in your sight. Lord, please hear my heart's cry. I'm desperately waiting to be where you are. I'll cross the hardest deserts. I'll travel near or far for your glory. Do anything just to see you, to behold you as my king for your glory. I will do anything just to see. Behold you as my king. I want to be where you are. Come on, let's make that our prayer this evening. Be where you are. I want to be where you are. I want to be where you are. For your glory, I will do. Just to see you, to behold you as my Lord, for your glory, I will do anything just to see you.
to behold you as my king. I want to be where you are. Lord, this is where you are. This is where you are. Grace is where you are. I want to be I want to be where you are. I want to be where you are. I want to be where you are. Come and begin to bless the name of the Lord. Give him all the glory. Praise his holy name. overwhelming grace enlarge my heart strengthen my faith oh Lord clothe my being with your presence overwhelming grace so I i 
everybody ready to worship the Lord today? Can you stand up and declare? We are flying. Hey!
now, let's, let's put our hands together as we make welcome a special guest to give us a spoken word presentation. Let's welcome Minister Connie. can do better. Put your hands together for Jesus. It's a honor to be in the midst of beautiful people like this. Please just look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor you find God. If you, if you not do like say me now, look at your other neighbor and say you find God. Hallelujah. Spirit lead me where my trust is without borders. Let me walk upon the waters whenever you will call me. I hear you. When you sing those lines with your hands lifted up and your head raised to the sky, I see you with a boulder tied to your ankle, holding you down so that you can't fly. See, you're buried neck deep in the quicksand of religion, indoctrination, and conformity. Still singing, on Christ the solid rock I stand, but you're drowning in iniquity. Tell me, when was the last time that you rose to the top of your mountain? When was the last time that it was just you and I in the secret place of solitude? See, I'm not talking about those eye service attitude of worship that never brings altitude when you scream your lungs out with tears running down your eyes as the camera and all eyes are on you. But as soon as you're out of you, you're back to being the same old you. See, it's amazing. It's amazing how we can capture holiness just at the perfect angle and update on Facebook, WhatsApp, and Instagram handle. But yet, you fail to update yourself in I, the great I am, with the daily renewal of your mind. Tell me, when was the last time that you went down groaning on your knees last night, right? But that wasn't for me, for that's your favorite position at the feet of men begging for approval. Why are you so desperate for the acceptance, willing to trade eternity for a few minutes of pleasure at Nebuchadnezzar's table? I gave you the comforter. So why are you searching for comfort in that dead-end relationship? I gave you peace. So why are you searching for peace at the bottom of the bottle? See, I, the great physician, said, come to me when you're hurt and confused. But you keep self-medicating and it's leading to your abuse. Tell me, how can you ascend this mediocre standard of conformity that you are addicted to? Tell me how can you look to my heels when you are envious of their valley? You're choking on your insecurities, comparing yourself to those wallowing in iniquities, and you call them celebrities. You're hungry for their lifestyle because they have made low seem so esteemed that the top now feels like the wrong spot. They have made low seem so esteemed that the top now feels like the wrong spot. You, you are my bride, consecrated unto me, but you have your eyes set on vanity that you've lost sight of what is true. You and the world now speak in the same tune. You have lost your authority. I gave you light to light up the world, but why is the world in total darkness that they can't even see themselves anymore? They can't even tell who they are, even with their anatomy. They cannot tell their genders. Their mind now determines their sexuality. It's now kept mystery over biology a brotherly love doesn't mean the same thing anymore and you you were supposed to lead the way but now you have lost your way because you are being led by trend instead of by my spirit in my love for you I placed you higher 
than the angels, made you co heirs gave you keys to the heavenly realm. But it's a shame that you who have the advantage of the mountain, you choose to wage war from the valley. Can't you see that you're losing? See, I'm taking my bride into Psalm 26. There's no more in between. I'm stripping you of your filthy garment. It's clean hands and pure hearts and not those whose righteousness depends on the situation of things. Listen, I'm taking you back into your days of authority. Up here, it is no more preparing a table for you in the presence of mere enemies. I am preparing a feast for you in the presence of kings. Up there where eagles meet, see, oil shall flow from this mountain and honey shall drip from these hills. From this mountain, every other mountain before you becomes a shallow ground. But listen. You need to realize that to ascend is to consciously, continuously advance towards the greater state of illumination. It is walking away from your old self into a new one. It is not a feeling. It is not a one-time thing. So the next time you lift up your hands to sing, take me deeper than my feet can ever wander. Let me walk upon the waters. Whenever you will call me, ask yourself, am I really ready? Thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. The supreme God, we worship you. Oh. The great I am, we bless your name. Amen. Yeah, yeah, my, that I am, we worship you. Oh, thank you. The one who is, who reigns forever, we bless your name. Amen. We lift up your name. Hallelujah. There is no one like you, Father. Amen. You are God all by yourself. You are God all by yourself. You are God all by yourself. Be lifted up, Father. We bless your name. We magnify you. The lifter up of our heads. We bless you, Father. We bless you, Father. We bless you, Father. We bless you, Father. Oh, be lifted up in this place. Be lifted up in this place. Because there is no other God like you. Forever you will reign. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you know we're having a live recording tonight? Yes, we're having a live recording. So it's a dual meeting. Hallelujah. I'm so glad to be a child of God. The Bible says, the numbers of air on my head, that he knows it. To show the extent to which, to which he prizes me. I'm the delight of the Father's heart. And I celebrate that tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Lift your hands to Abba and just wave it to him. I'm the delight of my father's heart. I was meant to bring pleasures to my king. I'm the abode of the Holy Ghost. I was meant to bring pleasures to my king. Just to my care. Oh, hallelujah. My father is the king of faith. My father is the holy one. My father is the headless one. My father is the mighty man in battle. My father is the good shepherd. I'm the abode of the Holy Ghost. I was made to bring pleasures to my king. I am the temple.
I am your sacrifice. I am your offering, Lord. I just want to stay here with my Jesus. Hey, by the sota, I got a bottle of shit. Yeah, come by the sota. Yeah, keep on the sota. I got a bottle of shit. Yes, Lord. Yeah. So receive it. Let it come to you as a sweet smelling sacrifice. Receive. Of my hands, the fruit of my lips, oh, the song of my lips.
Allez. Alléluia. Alléluia. Is anybody ready to praise the Lord today? <laughs> if you are ready to praise the Lord today, can you jump up on your feet and shout hallelujah? Hey! See, first of all, ask your neighbor this question. Say neighbor. Say who has the fantasy? Hey, answer your neighbor. <laughs> Is my loop ready? Ah! Yeah. If you know the Lord has done so much for you, I want to see. See, if, you, if your neighbor did, tell your neighbor, please give me space. Give me space. Give me space. Are we ready? <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Actually, let's let's leave the instrumental this place. Let's leave there. Say who has the final say? Jehovah's the final say. Let me hear the congregation. Say who has the final say? Say. Jehovah's the final say. I instrumentalist. Hmm. Hey. <laughs> I want to see your dancing step today for the Lord. Hey, are you ready? Big bar. Hey. Give me a 
unto you in a song, in a dance, and in our seats. We thank you, Father, oh God, because as we have given in obedience to your word, 
We thank you because, yes, it is blessed in the name of Jesus. We give you praise because these seeds will not live our lives. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we give you praise for your presence here. You alone are glorified tonight in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Celebrate him as you take your seats. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I need you to celebrate Jesus this evening. Come on, do it like you mean it. Go ahead and celebrate him. Is somebody ready to ascend? Is somebody ready to ascend tonight? Oh, yes. Come on, say hello. And you know, I want you to begin to press into new dimensions in God tonight. You are here for an encounter. Forget about the next person seated close to you. And tell yourself, God, it's me and you tonight. I want you to be like Jacob and say, I will not let you go until you bless me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody lift your hands and give him praise. Lift your hands and worship him. Jehovah is in this place. And he will manifest himself. <laughs> he will manifest himself as Rafa. He will manifest himself as Jaira. Oh, yes. He will manifest himself as Sabaoth, the man of war. Hi, Kabele Kopatayanaba. Is anybody hungry tonight? Is anybody tired of where they are? Come on, begin to press in. Begin to press into new dimensions. Begin to press into new pattern. Hey, Ebe, ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. He says, come up here. Come up here. Come up here. Come up here. For you have stayed in that mountain for too long. Come up here. He says he's giving you gifts to men tonight. Just go ahead and receive and say, Lord, I am that one. And I receive. And causing eyes to be open and ears to hear. As many that we hunger, as many that we thirst. He says the river is pouring. Come on, drink and be full. Hey, come and let us
Hallelujah. Can somebody celebrate Jesus tonight? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Our God is awesome. Hallelujah. I feel God's presence here tonight. Hallelujah. You know God inhabits praise? You know God inhabits praise? And he's here tonight. Praise the Lord. Amen. We're here tonight for divine encounter. Hallelujah. As we worship God, His presence fills this place. Praise God. And everyone who is hooked online to be part of this program, wherever you are, the hand of God is coming upon you tonight. Praise God. I have a thought I want to share with you very quickly. And, uh, but before I do that, I want to appreciate uh, Numa Praise for putting together this program. Can we celebrate them tonight? <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. And... Uh, step of faith they've taken and we're seeing the impact tonight. Hallelujah. The good thing about today is that uh, while we're worshiping God here, what is actually happening is that they are recording their next album along with it. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And that means that without you being a member of Newman Praise, your voice is there. Hallelujah. Tell somebody I'm a singer for Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you Newman Praise for been anointed of God to bring this kind of blessing to the body of Christ. I have to play their CD in my car as I drive along. Amen. And in my house, I can worship God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Our God is awesome. Now, I want to share with you tonight, very briefly, and uh, I will be talking about the life of one of the uh, prophets of God that you read in the scriptures. Praise God. I want to look at the life of Isaiah today. Isaiah was a prophet. One of the major prophets of God from Judah. He lived in the 8th uh, century. And I want to look at an aspect of his life that I believe that God will use to speak to us tonight. Praise God. Let's go to um, Isaiah chapter 6. 
We're going to read from verse 1. Our text tonight is coming from there. Praise God. We're introduced in this text, and it says, In the year that King Uzziah died, Isaiah says, I saw also the Lord sitting upon his throne. Hallelujah. And the Lord was what? Read with me. High and lifted up. And what happened? His train did what? I can't hear you loud enough. His train filled the temple. Praise the Lord. Now, what you may not know very quickly is that this king that died was a cousin to Isaiah. Hallelujah. The father of this king Uzziah, Amaziah, was a brother to Amos, who was the father of, Uz of uh, Isaiah the prophet. Hallelujah. So both fathers of these two men here talked about were brothers. Hallelujah. The older king being the older brother. Praise God. And so, what we are reading about here was a very tragic event in the life of Isaiah, of, uh, Isaiah the prophet. This is cousin. Hallelujah. A member of the royal family and is passed on. Praise God. And brethren, this was a moment of great pain for him. Hallelujah. But I'd like you to know this. This period of pain for Isaiah was a turning point in his life. Hallelujah. If you are facing disappointment in your life or a situation that is unpleasant, I'd like you to know that Doxa is providing you grounds for an encounter. <laughs> Hallelujah. And so in the year and the moment that Uzziah died, Isaiah may have been traumatized by this event. The Bible says that I saw the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, let's follow. See, in life, you can follow one of two things. You can either tie yourself to your pain and disappointment or you allow God have his way in your life. What is your choice tonight? I said, what is your choice tonight? Can you open your mouth and say what your choice is? Hallelujah. And so while Isaiah has lost somebody valuable to him, praise God, we are told that it was a time for a divine encounter. And tonight God is pointing to your life. And change is coming your way. Hallelujah. Verse 2 says, as we read on, that he saw the Lord. And then very clearly, he says, above his two the seraphims, each one had six wings. And with twain, he covered his face. And with twain, he covered his feet. And with twain, he did fly. So for the first time, I believe, Isaiah was seen into the realm of the spirit and seen this level of angelic beings. Hallelujah. An amazement. Praise God. May the Lord open your eyes in the name of Jesus. Next verse, as we read. Verse 3. And Abu says that one cried unto the other and said what? Holy, holy, holy. I don't know about you, but that sounds like Dogza. I said, I don't know about you, but that sounds to me like Dogza. Yes. Hallelujah. It was a moment where men cried holy to the Lord. That is why we're here tonight. Hallelujah. God is about to change your life situation. Hallelujah. Our God is alive, praise God. And today we declare his wonders. I feel his anointing here tonight, hallelujah. And yokes are being broken here. And as many as are hooked on online, the power of God is reaching you right where you are right now. We are ending unwanted seasons, hallelujah. God is turning things around for you, praise God. And laughter is coming your way. Amen. From crying that Isaiah was crying, God lifted him into his presence where the angels cried holy and holy and holy is the Lord. Let's go back to our text again. They cried holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. And I like this. While they praised God, what happened? Oh my God. While they praised God, what happened? The whole earth was what? Full of his glory. Hallelujah. Is there anybody who dwells on earth today? Hallelujah. The glory of God is going to fill your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise will bring his glory. And that is what is happening here tonight. I see a turnaround in this place. 
Blessed be his name. And so while they praised the Lord, crying holy, the Bible says that God began to fill the earth with his glory. Now let's read on. Verse 4 says, and the Bible says, the power of God was so much that the post of the door moved at the voice of him that cried, and the house was filled with smoke. Those are diverse manifestations of God. Hallelujah. Like we're experiencing here tonight. Praise the Lord. Verse 5 says, we read, and then said I, woe is me. Hallelujah. Why? For I'm undone. Why? Because of what? I'm a man of unclean lips. Isaiah recognized that he's a sinner. Brethren, do you realize that God never condemned him? No angel looked at him and said, where are you coming from? You filthy sinner. That did not happen. Hallelujah. God is not the one who wants to condemn you. Are you listening? Hallelujah. He brought Isaiah to change his life. Hallelujah. God wants the best out of you. Hallelujah. But one thing you must do for yourself, you must recognize where you are missing it. Are you listening? So that God can bring help your way. Isaiah looked at the glory of God, the power of his presence. He looked at himself and said, I'm not doing well. Woe is me. I'm undone. I'm a sinner. My lips are unclean. Hallelujah. If you cry out to God today, he will save you. Are you listening? Habits have been broken here tonight. And everything that does not belong to God in your life, you will drop tonight. In the name of Jesus. And so Isaiah looked at himself. He didn't try to cover what it was. He didn't try to explain what it was. He just knew, in this presence, I can come into the mercy of God. Hallelujah. Brethren, if you are open tonight, God will change your life. Are you listening? No matter what the secret is, God will reach out into your life and bring change your way. I thank God that when he cried, what happened to him? Let's read and he says, Ah, I'm a man of unclean lips. And I even dwell in the midst of people of unclean lips. My eyes have seen the king, the king of the Lord of hosts. Look at the next verse. What a wonder. Because he cried, hallelujah, the Bible says, there flew one of the seraphims unto me, having a live coal in his hands, which he had taken out of the tongues from the altar. And what did he do? Verse 7. And he laid it upon my mouth and said, Lo, this has touched your lips, and your iniquity is what? Is taken away, and your sin is purged. Hallelujah. Look at verse 8. I see freedom in this house today. Oh, yes. And it was then he could not hear God. Brethren, if you don't line up your life before God, you won't hear God. Hallelujah. Amen. You must get rid of anything that compromises your life. Praise God. As soon as he surrendered his life to God for God's cleansing to come, the Bible says that he heard the voice of God. Hallelujah. It was then he heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send and who will go for us? And then said I, Here am I. Send me. Hallelujah. Amen. In closing, there's a thought I see here that uh, registers on my heart. Do you know that Isaiah was the one that prophesied in chapter 1? Do you know that? Do you know that he prophesied in chapter 2? Talk to me somebody. Who prophesied in chapter 3? It was same Isaiah. Who prophesied in chapter 4? The same Isaiah. Who prophesied in chapter 5? So, while he was prophesying there, the Bible says here that in the courts of God, God was still looking for a man. Hallelujah. Because what God wanted at that moment, no man was filling the place. You know, many times we come to church, we are doing our thing. Hallelujah. We are doing our thing, going about our business. But God is calling you to a higher place. You know why this doxa was called Ascend? It's because there's a higher place for you. Hallelujah. It's time for you to rise above bitterness. It's time for you to rise above all malice. 
all sin, all depravity, all distractions. It's time to ascend now. Hallelujah. There's a place that God is calling you to. And if you yield to him tonight, God will bring you there. Hallelujah. Just like they touched Isaiah, the power of God will touch you. And your life will never be the same. Brethren, if you read the book of Isaiah, from this encounter, he was never the same again. It was this encounter that made him the messianic prophet. Hallelujah. More than any other prophet you see in the Old Testament, Isaiah spoke about Jesus, his coming, his ministry, and what he was bringing. God opened his eyes to be able to prophetically see into that dimension. I see God turn your life around today and make you a blessing. Hallelujah. His healing power is here. His grace that you need is right here. Is there any cry in your heart tonight? Any need in your heart? Tonight God is stretching his hands to you. Praise God. And there will be a turnaround in the name of Jesus. I'd like you to stand to your feet. I'm going to pray with you right now. Thank you dear Jesus. Our God is high and lifted up. We bless his name. We bless his name. Yokes have been broken here tonight. Father, we bless you. Like Isaiah, why don't you lift up your hands to God tonight and say, God, I want to be a better man. I want to rise above all my shortcomings. Help me, oh God, to ascend into my next place of power and encounter. I'd like you to pray to God tonight. There's a higher place for you and tonight he brings you there. Jesus, I thank you, oh God. I thank you, O oh God. I thank you, O oh God. Our God reigns. Our God reigns. Our God reigns. Thank you, dear Jesus. Thank you, dear Jesus. Oh, I bless God. I bless God. Our God reigns. Our God reigns. He's present here tonight. And his power is all over this place. Thank you, Lord Jesus. My God, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. Hallelujah. I'd like us to do something right now. Let's all be quiet with your eyes closed right now. God's call upon us tonight is to ascend. If you are here tonight and you know in your heart that you have never surrendered your life to Jesus, you don't know Him as your Savior. You are not sure if you die today, you will be in heaven with him. Oh yes. Right where you are, like Isaiah, I'd like you to just lift your both hands to God right now. You are saying, Lord, I'm a sinner. I want to know you. I want to live for you. I want to serve Jesus. Be my Lord and Savior. If you are here tonight and that's your prayer, wherever you are, lift up your hands to God right now and say, God, help me. Touch my life. Make me your child. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I bless your name. Isaiah was a prophet, but he knew that there were things in his life he needed to let go. If that again is your prayer tonight, you can lift both hands to God and say, Father God, I want to be a better person. I've been held bound by this habit. I've been held bound by this thing that I do not want in my life. You can raise your hands to God tonight and say, Father, help me. In the name of Jesus. Tonight, all yokes are broken. In the name of Jesus. Lord, release your mercy tonight. If your hands are lifted up, pray after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I yield myself to you. I surrender my life to you. All of my life, Father. Father, in the name of Jesus, let the blood of mercy cleanse me. I surrender my entire life and being to you, O oh God. Make me that man or that woman you want me to be tonight. And every yoke falls out of your life tonight. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, we bless you. Thank you, O oh God, for your mercy. In the name of Jesus. Can you lift up your hands in worship to God, everyone in the house tonight? Let us adore him. Our God reigns. Our God reigns. Father, we bless you. Thank you, awesome God. We worship and bless, and bless your holy name, O oh God. Oh, dear Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus.
talk to in front of me here but wherever you are anywhere you hurt I'd like you to place your hands over right now place it wherever you're hurting your chest your belly your limbs your head wherever it is oh yes but you have these oppressions like something comes in the evening wraps around your neck oh yes freedom today oh yes Dear God, I thank you. I thank you, Lord Jesus. Ha. The yoke is being broken right now. In the name of Jesus. I curse every infirmity. I curse the root of whatever ailment you have right now. Be healed and be free in the name of Jesus. I rebuke every spirit of sickness. Go from God's people right now. And I command your freedom. Be healed. Be free. I lose your lungs, your limbs, whatever. And I command your joints to be free, be made whole in the name of Jesus. Oh dear God, you foul oppressing spirit. Turn her loose right now in the name of Jesus. No more shall it be upon you. Right now be free. Go in freedom no more. I bring you under the blood of Jesus. And take his power and be free from tonight. In the name of Jesus, Jesus makes you whole and will never return to your life again. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, thank you. The power of God flows into your body right now, reconstructing, bringing healing and restoration. 
in the name of Jesus. Can you thank God right now? Bless his name. He reigns. He reigns. Our God reigns. Thank you, dear Jesus. I bless you, O God. I bless you. I bless you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Blessed be his name. Hallelujah. There's somebody in this section. The Lord says, it just left you. Whatever it was that was ha happening to you, check it right now. In fact, everyone check yourselves right now. Oh yes. It just left you. You can't feel it again. You can't see it again. Hallelujah. Oh yes. Our God is a healer. Hallelujah. Thank you, my Father. Oh yes. All afflictions taken away by his power. It will never return to you again. Hallelujah. Jesus, thank you. I give you praise. I give you praise. Our God reigns. Thank you. Every bondage is broken in Jesus' name. And from today, it's freedom. It's freedom. It's freedom. Lord, I give you thanks. In the name of Jesus. Can you shout praise the Lord today? Hallelujah. Amen. Blessed be his name. While you check yourself, you can't feel that pain any longer. You can't see that swelling again, whatever it was. Everybody stand to your feet. Hallelujah. Amen. I'd like you to raise your hands. You can't see it any longer. Hallelujah. You had a condition right now. You can't feel it again. You can't see it again. I'd like to see you. Raise your hand up. I see hands here. I see hands here. I see hands here. I see hands over there. I see hands here, I see hands here, I see hands there. Our God is a healer and he's a restorer. Hallelujah. Brethren, your life will never be the same again. Hallelujah. There's somebody who is here. I don't know what it is. But the house where you live, almost every time you are trying to go back to that house, for some reason, there's fear. You are afraid. Is that something dark seems to be following you into it. Who is that person? Hallelujah. I see that thing happen. Trapping somebody here. Praise God. Amen. Oh yes. Who is that person? Dear God. Dear God. Dear God. A rebosha. I wish I could talk about it, but not now. Not, this is not the place for it. Hallelujah. Everyone raise your hands to God right now. Hallelujah. Amen. Raise your hands right now. There are lying spirits that intend to destroy our lives hallelujah and they send us into pathways that we have no business being in hallelujah but that yoke tonight is broken in Jesus name Amen. divine encounter divine encounter divine encounter there's a singer someone in this place one of you folks God has been speaking to you that he has called you do not shift from it I don't know which of you Hallelujah. Do not shift. Go back to obedience and put him first. Hallelujah. Just to call upon your life for that purpose. Dear God, can you stretch your hands, church of God, to this dear person? My God, we break that yoke. That spirit of a vagabond, we send you out of his life today. Name of Jesus. We command you to be restored to your place. Lord, restore him. Even the wasted years, restore him. Bring him to his place. His latter end shall be better than his beginning. Today marks a turning point in your life and a day of change. Lord, I release it to your mercy. And your life in the name of Jesus no more from today the old is gone there's no reason to fear God fills your heart today in the name of Jesus I pray for his light to shine in your heart and it will lead you by his spirit your appetites are changed today in the name of Jesus 
restore Lord restore Lord restore and break the yoke in Jesus name never be the same again everyone raise your hands to God our God raise if you came here with a back condition check night has gone I, f- I felt it right night is gone in the name of Jesus our God is a restorer can you wave those hands and God thank you in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus somebody here in a dream you always see yourself carrying heavy load today that is destroyed in the name of Jesus be free be free come into your freedom in the name of Jesus I bless you people of God put your hands on your head I can't lay hands on everybody I bless you today I bless you today I bless you today receive his impartation in the name of Jesus more glory to you come into your blessing come into favor oh my father bring your light to your people in the name of Jesus oh a new day we ascend in Jesus name give a shout of praise tonight hallelujah Hallelujah. 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 Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. Your calendar is not Gregorian. Because your T-I-M-E, time in me, exists. So today, this month, I say shall be unto you the beginning of months. This month shall be the beginning of the first month of the year. Hallelujah. Beckons, summons, calls. B S C. B S C. The science of ascent. As it is above, so is it beneath. Beneath. Yes, beneath, in these vessels of earth, beneath, in the potter's jar of clay. For we have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the excellency of dunamis by me of him are not of us. For the kingdom of God does not come from external observations. For the kingdom is within and cannot be discerned by internal perceptions. Woe, woe to the earth and all the inhabitants of the earth. For the wicked one, the devil, has been cast down. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, and the pride of life. These are all scripted plots to trap the lots that dwell in this plain. But look up, I say, salvation comes from the hill. Hear me, all ye sinners. The cross is the only way. The free-flowing blood is the only seed that can cleanse you from your sin that you may see the pathway to ascend to the holy hill. Rewind. Stop. Play. Hear all ye sinners. The cross is the only way. The free-flowing blood is the only seed that can cleanse you from your sin that you may see the pathway to ascend to the holy hill. Zion, 
And hear all you believers who shall ascend unto the holy hill of the Lord and who shall stand in his holy place. He that has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity nor sworn deceitfully. The way up is down. Yes, down. Death to self, death to sin, death to the pleasures of this present world. For except a grain of, a gra a grain of corn falls to the ground and dies, it abides alone in the doldrums of the earth. <laughs> As it was with John the Revelator, so shall it be with any willing participator. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day, and I heard a voice like a trumpet saying unto me, and I looked behind to see the voice. And a door was opened in heaven, and I heard a voice saying unto me, Come up hither, come up hither, ascend, ascend, by all means ascend, ascend far above this earthly plain and traverse the boulevards of the heavenly lanes. That's the only way, that's the only way for us to mount up, mount up with wings as eagles. So I hear the sounds of ascension. Ascension sound is beckoning to me. Ascension sound is summoning to me. Ascension sound is calling my name. Mount up, mount up, it says, mount up, mount up, it says. Ascension sound is summoning to you. Ascension sounds, they're beckoning for you. Ascension sounds. I call in your name, mount up, mount up, it says, mount up, mount up, it says, be still, be still, and let silence be the license that makes you listen, listen for the beckons, the summons, the call, BSC, the signs of ascent, hallelujah. And now, let's put our hands again together as we receive ministry from the choir of World Clinic Campus Fellowship, the Ambassadors. Hallelujah. Glory! Glory! Can somebody shout, Glory! Dogza! No, 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 we are not getting it. Dogza! Dogza means what? Glory. Can we shout glory? Glory! All right, before we go into songs of worship to our maker, Daddy, we are grateful, sir. Thank you for the privilege. In my praise, thank you for having us here. All right, please, can we honor God by standing on our feet? Scripture says in Hebrews 4, verse 16, let us come boldly before the throne of grace. So we are not afraid approaching our maker. The one who creates us, the one who owns us, the one who knows us, before time began, is the wisdom of the wise, the maker of the heavens and the earth. Nothing is hidden before him. He is first and the last. Can you hear your father this, this evening? If he's God to you, can you give him praise that he deserves? And there is someone greater in us. The spirit of God that bears witness with our spirit. That we are God's children. I have the one who sits never makes the earth is full. How big is our God? How great he is. Majestic is the name. A coffee, Mamma Man, the Legadet, and a man. He could demand of Radosia, Mamma. Ever present one, he never leaves his own. I seek a point, reggae de cosiata, a swoosh abandon, a ketata, rock up a soda, the one who never leaves his own, the one who sees everything. I seek a point, Jesus, I hail you, Yahweh, I hail you, Awesome God, I hail you, a baradabacosa, the legate, 
Tikitita. Oh, Kabande Basusa. Oh, Jesus. We hail you. We exalt thee. Uvina to Brada Dosa. Hazika Pande Brado Satanati. Just a 
will exalt you. I will see you. I will still worship you. Introducing all the way from Glory 
Glory Pavilion Church, Gapiona, also known as the House of Glory, the Living Waters Choir. Hallelujah. Amen. Second Chronicles chapter 20 from verse 15. The battle is the Lord's. Amen. Amen. The battle is the Lord's. You have to see the way God sees it. You have to see what God sees. I don't know what you're going through tonight, but I want to assure you that God is set to win the battle for you and you hold your peace. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen.
mighty fortress you go before us nothing can stand against the power of our God you shine in the shadow you win every battle nothing can stand against the power of our God and almighty fortress you go before us Nothing Nothing can stand against the power of God You shine in the shadow You win every battle Oh, nothing Nothing can stand against the power of God And all my fortress all over and just bless the Lord. Help me sing. With one hand, we say. voice and sing
bless the Lord. Just wave your hands and worship the King of Lord.
glorious one, victorious is our God. Somebody sing wonderful, wonderful, marvelous, glorious might, victorious is our God. Come on, I somebody has grace victory today. Clap your hands and worship Him. Just worship Him. Wonderful, marvelous, glorious, mighty, victorious. Victorious, he can never change the Lord of hosts is his name. The mighty warrior, the mighty warrior, the miracle worker. We praise you, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 Wonderful, marvelous, glorious, mighty, victorious is our God. Celebrate him, just celebrate him. Our God is grace, his grace, and greatly to be praised. Thank you, Lord, for all that you have done. We give you all the glory. tonight we give you praise almighty God be exalted father and so father we say thank you for Doxa 6.0 the event has ended but the impact is lifelong we thank you oh God because it's been a date with destiny and our lives will speak of your glory in greater dimensions in greater measures in the name of Jesus thank you Jesus in Jesus mighty name we pray Amen. can we have some more praise as we close today hallelujah hallelujah hey I saw the living God oh everybody know it's not true
thank you. I thank you, Lord. I thank you. I thank you, Lord. 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 I Carry your neighbor, make sure your neighbor is moving. Make sure your neighbor is moving. Hey, 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 hey. If let's say your neighbor never move, I can see some people's neighbors are not moving. Eh? Are you sure you are stepping into a new level? Okay. The word of God in the walk. In the walk, in the walk. In the walk. When I speak in tongues. In the walk. The woman said, I'm not in the walk. In the walk, in the walk. In the walk, in the walk. In the walk. I said, in the walk. In the walk, in the walk. In the walk. Ha! All of you are mine. You are mine too. Oh, let it come out. Let it come out. Hey. All of you are mine. Yeah. <laughs> 
and enter it. Don't worry, patient, 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 please. Thank you. Just a quick one. Service holds here tomorrow by 8.30. Our Sunday services are 8.30, right on this auditorium. Our midweek services, which is Wednesday, please don't go, you are continuing. Our midweek services, which, is, which are Wednesdays, are 5 o'clock. And we have a World Believers Congress coming up on the 20th and on the 21st. On the 20th is 4 p.m. and on the 21st is 5 p.m. You don't want to miss that. This is worship. That is what they go hand in hand. Sunday, that's the 21st, 8.30 a.m. That's the morning of it. Thank you. God bless you. Tomorrow, I want to see all of us, 8.30. Thank you. I have escaped. Every arrows of evil. I have escaped. Come on, not be my head though. I have escaped. Every evil arrow. I have escaped. Come on, not be my head though. Every arrows of wickedness. Come on. Every evil arrow. I have escaped. 